This is Minecraft, but crafting is long. Today I played a Minecraft world where I must use a new, longer crafting table to create some of the longest items in history. Every item I create gets longer and longer, and I must work my way toward the longest crafting table ever created. Using this crafting table, I can craft the single longest item anyone's ever seen, and I must use it to defeat the Ender Dragon in the end. As long as this video gets 3,401 likes. So leave a like right now. Long crafting table level one. So this is the smallest of all of the long crafting tables I'll be making today and at the top of my screen I have a very long sword So I have to fill that up get all the way to the end and craft the longest item in Minecraft history So with this long crafting table, whoa, okay, that's level one. That's crazy if I open it up There are only two slots. Okay, dude. That's the smallest villager I've ever seen. That's even smaller than a baby one Eek! You found me! Uh, I guess? Looks like you're here for something. Uh, not really. I just, I want to create long items. Give me a piece of wheat and I'll give you a reward. Piece of wheat? Okay, I will. I'll quickly do a hay bale mining session. And with that, we can turn it into a bunch of wheat. And is that all he wants? Because that's fairly easy. Little villager, don't hurt yourself. I've got your wheat. Here you go. Wait, why are you not taking it, huh? It needs to be smaller than that. Wait, really? Um... The small crafting table. Wait, if I go in here, there are two slots. What happens if I put like a wheat in there? Oh! Small wheat level one. Oh, this is what he was talking about. Okay, I'll give this to the villager. No, don't run, don't run. I have your small wheat. Challenge completed. <gasps> And my diamond sword that is super long just filled up a bit. Wait, but hold on. Now it says collect a diamond. Okay, so I guess that's the next thing I have to do to upgrade my long crafting table. So I'll go ahead and do a wood mining session. Create an actual normal crafting table because I want to use that to get some food on my expedition. And I also want a wooden pick. Upgrade that to a stone pickaxe and start digging straight down. And you guys should leave a like if you think I'm going to successfully dig straight down without dying. Oh, and boom! Okay, if you left a like, you were right. If you didn't, well, you can still leave a like. We're in the deep caves, and diamonds are easier to find in these versions. In these big open caves, there's just a lot more mobs, so we gotta be in and out, and there are diamonds right there. Okay, this is hard, because I don't have iron. I need an iron pick to mine the diamonds. I do see iron. Oh, look at all the zombies go away! Grab those, make a furnace, and some melt it up, and get rid of these guys. Boom. Iron pick and let's get these diamonds. Alright, I just need one diamond, I think, before I complete this quest. If I just grab the one here, there are many though. Get it? Challenge completed and my sword has filled up even more. And now in my inventory, my crafting table has been replaced with a long crafting table level two. If I put this down, is it even longer? Whoa! It literally goes through the ceiling. Okay, if I open this, it looks like there are three. Ah! Gosh, I'm at half a heart. Oh my goodness, I almost just died. Dude, there are mobs everywhere. We'll put this down, it'll go through the roof. And inside of here, it looks like it's a normal crafting table now, but it also comes with two new sections. So we can craft a white golem egg, which will take four iron ingots and two pumpkins, which we know where the pumpkins are. There were literally some at the village. And also, whoa, okay. It comes with a set of very small tools and average ones and everything. Holy smokes, okay. So <laughs> it's still kind of a smaller crafting table table. Stuff isn't getting too long yet. I kind of want to create this wide golem egg. With all this, we can get a bunch of iron anyways with some wood, cobble, and just make a bunch of these tools as well. So we'll get a ton of iron and have an iron mining session. And let me go ahead and grab a couple of pumpkins. And we'll go ahead and create our wide golem egg. What is this going to do anyways? I'm actually kind of curious. And what in the world? It's a wide iron golem. Is he like my buddy now? Is he going to just like traverse with me. I also got a lot of iron too. So a long iron pickaxe level one. This is a long iron pick so we can replace our current one. This is average, average. We already know all these. This is a tinier iron pick. I don't know. A lot of these are just kind of like I feel like they'd be worse than our current items. I'm gonna just keep working up on my crafting tables. Oh, and now it says get struck by lightning. What? That means I have to have a wait. I can make a lightning rod to do that. And hold on, what does this long iron pickaxe even do? Okay, so it does do a lot more than a regular pickaxe. I can easily just mine my way through the caves. And I can just use it. Wait, I'm, 
gonna guess this doesn't do. Oh, that also does kind of something too. Not as much, but these picks are actually a solid upgrade. Let me quickly find copper. And here we go. And with this, I think I can make a lightning rod. So we'll smelt these up. And in our crafting table, our normal one, I will create a lightning rod. And now we have to go outside. It's raining. It's pouring. Okay, let me go ahead. Put down the lightning rod. So does this just attract lightning if I step on it? Oh, challenge completed. Oh my goodness, I'm at a heart, bro. That lightning rod attracts lightning. I have never used a lightning rod before. And we're already halfway through the lengthiness of crafts. And it looks like we have a long crafting table level three in our inventory. Okay, I gotta get away from this lightning. How long is this one? Let me put it down on the ground. Whoa, it goes way up. Look at that thing, man. If I open this one, the grid gets even larger. Okay, so what can we craft in this? It looks like there's a long golden apple level three. We need three apples and six gold. Luckily, that guy died in front of me. So that is the craft that we will go and create. So we'll mine a bunch of trees using our long pickaxe. This actually helps a lot. Look at this. Woo! Gets rid of all the wood. Grab ourselves some apples. That's two and three. And now we just need gold and digging down is just so easy at this point. I guess, can I craft even just normal stuff in the long crafting table? Like, could I go ahead and craft a uh, chest piece? Okay, I can. Well, at least put this on as well as this. So we're a bit more geared. And we'll collect all the gold and grab the gold. And with our level three long crafting table, we are going to grab the long golden apple level three. I feel like I should hold off, but I'm going to eat it now. Okay, I literally turn into a long golden apple and I get effects for about 30 seconds, but a lot of them. Oh my goodness, I look freaking hilarious though. And the effects are gone and I'm still this golden apple. What if I'm just like this forever for the rest? What the heck just happened? I just turned everything into gold blocks around me. Now it says find ancient city and defeat warden. Uh, okay. I'm going to need a lot more of those, uh, <laughs> well, long golden apples, which I can make pretty much infinite of them now with all these gold blocks. So I'll go ahead and make those all into ingots and we can go ahead and just get ourselves a bunch of apples and find that ancient city. Golly, the warden's actually the hardest thing to destroy in Minecraft. So I'm going to need a lot of these. I'm hoping with the golden apples, I'll be strong enough. Go ahead and create one to defeat him. Maybe I can just turn him into gold. Maybe that'll work. Low key. All right. I have found the deep dark. I now have to trigger the warden. Oh gosh. I keep forgetting my pick can do that, um, but I need the skulkers. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I just found an actual ancient city. There's the deep dark and then there's like actual ancient cities. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is like kind of cool because now can I make it down here? Ooh, sneak a hundred. This is why I was so excited. In these chests are crazy loot. That was, well, that was Curse of Binding, but I don't know if I'll get anything better. This might help me a lot against the warden. I'm gonna start losing my vision. There are chests scattered all around this place. Here he comes. I've triggered the warden. No! Okay, eat my uh, long golden apple level three. I'm guessing they made it so I could craft this so I could beat this guy. And that's not gonna work. Oh! Wait, it did work. It took me a couple times. Wait, what did he drop here though? What is this? Warden's heart? What in the world? Oh, and challenge completed. My crafting table is now a long crafting table level four. I put it down. Oh my goodness, it stretches the length to the ceiling. That is so long. And now we have an even longer grid. It looks like we have four more items we can create. A skinny warden buddy. Really wide staff. What? That's so easy to create. I guess because I needed this crafting table to do it. The long Longest pickaxe ever, level four. It requires three different normal pickaxes, but that thing looks insane and comes with a pickaxe force field. Unreasonably long sword, level four. Just takes two diamond swords and you get it. Okay, the one thing I want first is that skinny warden buddy, which all it does is require the warden heart surrounded by a bunch of these skulker blocks so I can make it right now. Oh, here we go. Skinny warden buddy egg, level four. What is gonna happen when I spawn this? Because last time, I spawned that wide iron golem, nothing happened. It was just a wide iron golem. It sucked. Whoa, it's a very long warden. Is he my buddy? He's not attacking me. What should he be named? Comment down below your favorite name for the long warden buddy. And there are the diamandes. We'll do that and that. And there it is. The longest pickaxe ever, level four. What will this do for us? Oh my goodness, dude. Look how long that is in my hands. Whoa, that's what it meant by 
Get pickaxe force field. Okay, so now anywhere I walk is just gonna mine cave out. What the heck just happened? Oh, I think it just mines the area around me. So it's just more pickaxes doing their thing. Whoa, okay. All right, so lots of pickaxe work. There are still two items I can create in this thing. There's a really wide staff, which this has a lightning bolt and the unreasonably long sword. Well, that has quite a few powers. And that only requires two diamond swords. I can make that right now as well. Dude, it's like one item leads into the next, into the next. Boom, boom, and unreasonably long sword. Give it to me. So now I have a, a main sword, a main pickaxe. See how long this freaking sword is. Well, I can also fly on the freaking sword. What? What in the world was that? Whoa! Bro, and this really wide staff, by the way, which is more long than wide. I'll go ahead and smelt my copper. Really wide staff. Okay, so now look at my three weapons. They're all really long. And I don't even know what this thing does. What is that? Whoa! Icicle from the sky just turned everything into snow. Okay. And it's got lightning power. So now, if I have any problems with any mobs, I have an aerial attack, which is good. I needed that. Craft the catalyst. Well, I guess I can look it up in here. Super long catalyst level five. Requires three redstone, two copper ingots, another three redstone, and an end crystal. Okay, the redstone and the copper, no problem. The end crystal is gonna take going to the nether. We'll scoop all this up and also all the way down. Pick up a thing of water. Boom! Create the nether portal. And wow, there's literally a nether fortress right here. So we just need one blaze. And blaze. No! It dropped it into the lava! And kill the blaze and get the blaze rod. Make it into blaze powder. Now all we need is one sorry enderman. Hello, little guy. And can I kill you easily with my unreasonably long sword? I can, and I got an ender pearl. And that's going to create me the eye of ender. And where's the gas? Hey, hey, over here, over here, over here. Come here, there we go. Did he drop one? He did. Thank you. So if I'm not wrong, we can now create the end crystal. Boom. Give me all of this. Come to Kappa. <laughs> Get it? Because Kappa, Papa, no. Oh. And at long last, we can create the super long catalyst. Challenge completed. And here it is, the long crafting table, level five. Okay, I put this down. Oh my goodness. It just keeps getting longer and longer. And now it's even longer, the grid. And in here, there are even more weapons we can create, including the longest golden apple. So this is an even longer golden apple. Longest diamond axe ever. Longest diamond sword ever. There's also a stack of longest arrows. I want to see this long cataclysm blade. We have that right now. Diamond sword. Long cataclysm blade, bro. Look at this blade. Look at how long this blade is. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness, this sword is lit. I'm literally launching out like a thousand swords at once. They're making crafting table craters, but oh my goodness. Okay, so, well, we can make the axe. We can iron axe, diamond axe, gold axe, and with all those three, we can make the longest diamond axe. And with this, holy smokes, I'm mining the entire forest down. Okay, also, I just want to see what this crafting table looks like. Oh my goodness. From outside, look how freaking far up it goes, bro. Stacks on stacks on stacks. But with all what we have, we can make the longest golden apple. Oh, I'm into a golden apple again. Whoa! Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, that just scattered Eye of Enders all over the place. Wait a second, and now our next objective is to find the stronghold. Can even make a new one, but now I'm just gonna launch one into the direction of the strongholds this way. Also, before we go, let's maybe create... Hmm. Can we find a chicken? We'll get the arrows. We also want to make the sword. I think it just has like default vanilla kind of damage. What I really want is a chicken. Hello, chickens. I guess I can use the diamond sword to kill them. Get the feather. We'll go ahead and create the ultra long arrows. Wait a second. They just came with a longest bow. What in the world, bro? What? That is a massively long arrow. All right. Well, I found the stronghold, but it hasn't given me any update on my uh, progress. So I think maybe I have to light up this <laughs> portal. Hey, silverfish. Hey. What are you doing? All right, let's light it up and see what happens. There we go. <gasps> Full sword. Long crafting table level maxed out. Okay, we're going in here. We're fighting the ender dragon. Oh my goodness. Even the ender dragon is a lot longer than usual. Look how long that freaking dragon is, bro. This max out crafting. Whoa. Dude, look how tall this crafting table is. And inside. Oh my goodness. Look at this grid. Oh my goodness. It's telling me if I risk every single item in my inventory that I have, I'll get the longest blade ever to exist. I'm gonna take it. Whoa, this is so OP. I'm like, he's already half health. The Ender Dragon, he's almost dead. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a meteor. Goodbye, Ender Dragon. It 
was nice knowing you, bro. I want you dying right there atop my longest crafting table ever to exist using the longest blade and longest item in Minecraft history. It was nice knowing you, but not really. Give me my portal and goodbye. Oh, look, a full sword.